Well, hi there, it's Sandy, and I wanted to cover a topic that I had covered in a recent video, but I did it really quickly in that one. So I thought I'd give you a little more information on it since I had so many questions. And it's about adding a photo and acrylic paint in a journal. So what I've done is measured the journal and cut the paper so that it fits top to bottom in the journal and then torn off two sides of it. And you could cut it, of course, if you want something straight, but doing this is going to work out a little bit better because you'll have a softer edge to blend with. And then attach it with whatever it is that you use to attach things in your journal. I used ATG tape and you want some adhesive under the whole thing so it doesn't buckle up in the middle as you get any moisture there. And I've added underneath the left and right side a piece of scrap paper so that I don't get paint all the way down the side of my journal. And then I squeezed on some paint and you can use any kind of acrylic paint you want, whatever you normally use, and then just grab a baby wipe and start smooshing the color around. You could also do this with a brush, easily enough, but baby wipe to me is more accessible and I don't have to go wash a brush after. And spread the paint on covering the edges of the photograph that you've put in. It helps if you use colors that you want to coordinate with what's in your photograph. So here I'm using a fall picture and in the previous example that I showed you, I was using a winter picture. So I used blues and whites and a little bit of black. So I got some gray in it and that sort of thing. So I'm using the baby wipe as a brush, picking up color from one side and adding it to another. And you can make stripes like this, just going back and forth vertically. You can blend it. Lots of different ways you can play around with that. And then I decided I was going to start adding some texture to it. So I started pulling the baby wipe different directions and going over the photo. If you go over it with really thick paint, then you can cover up giant sections of it. But this is a color photo that was printed over at my local print shop. I have a ton of photos that I had printed for a class once and multiple copies of them and then I don't teach those classes anymore so I have a ton of photographs I can do this with and the surface of it is kind of slick if you have flatter paper like matte paper then it might require a little bit of a different touch to it but then I was moving the baby wipe in different directions twisting my wrists so I get different kinds of textures and patterns the whole thing came out way orange and I wasn't really sure I wanted that I wanted it the photograph to feel like it was part of the page. So I did something scary. I added black paint. I know that'll freak people out, but with acrylic paints, the great thing is if you don't like what you did, you just go over it with more paint. That's all. It's really simple. So I wanted to darken the corners over on the right hand side and then get these trees to start blending into the rest of the paint. Now this is really dark at the moment. It's going to lighten. You're going to be surprised. Just going to keep tapping and moving that color around and using the baby wipe again as a brush. And I'm mimicking the texture that I've got in the trees. So if you've got a particular texture in your photograph, you could try to mimic that with the motions that you make with your baby wipe or with a brush if you're using that. And then I added more color on top of it because I didn't want it all that black. And the yellow and the black together made a kind of green color, which became interesting. And I was like, oh, I'm kind of liking this. But literally, I had no idea what I was doing when I did this. I did not have any clue where I was headed with this. But I was just playing. And I'm going to be doodling on this page because it's in my book that I'm using for Inktober. So at some point this month, you will see this page. You could follow along with that over on my Sandy Onlock Fine Art Instagram. I don't know what the theme will be for this one. I haven't even really looked at the themes until that day because I don't want to get preconceived notions in my head. So until I'm ready to start on that day's drawing, I'm just not looking ahead, getting some discipline going. But you can see how I'm changing the colors in the photograph as well by taking some of the color from the rest of the page, tapping it on top of the picture, and there we go. All finished and ready to do some journaling, doodling, drawing, whatever. 
And I also wanted to remind you that the registration is open for the junk journaling class that I am part of, that I'm one of the teachers for, one of the lessons. I'll link you here at the end as well as in the doobly-doo to my video about that class and to register for the class if you're interested in that. And that's it. I am all done. I will see you again very soon with another video because that's how I roll. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.